recently I just came back from a huge Asia trip. I went to Shanghai, Philippines, um, and actually got the chance to go to Hong Kong. I wasn't supposed to go to Hong Kong, but because of the whole visa situation in Shanghai, they, <laughs> I had to add a third stop to my itinerary. They literally stopped me at the gate and was like, you can't go unless you add another country. So I decided to add Hong Kong and shoot a video there. I've only done a photo walk in New York. I wanted to see how it is in a different country. But yeah, I shot everything on this camera, Rico GR3X, which is a point and shoot. Really like it because it fits in my pocket um, and it's super easy to get really nice, um, good quality images, but in the size of this, which is literally the size of my hand. Um, but yeah, gonna take you guys on a photo walk. Um, so hope you guys enjoy. So these pictures I actually shot before the photo walk. Um, when I landed, I really wanted to do something before I had to go to bed. So kind of early, wanted to see if I could do something and also get dinner, but decided to go to the Avenue of Stars, which is a really cool place where you can see the whole skyline of Hong Kong. These next ones are really cool as well. I really like taking pictures of architecture, especially modern architecture. Um, so really clean buildings, um, interesting shapes and stuff. And so these definitely have that. I think taking it against the sky makes it a little bit even cleaner um, just because the sky is usually blank and then it really lets the building shine there. But yeah, I was really surprised to see these buildings in Hong Kong. Like if, if you showed me this without any context, I would think that this is like from New York, like near the vessel. But yeah, these are really cool. So finally, the start of the photo walk. This was the next day. I decided to get some breakfast at a local bakery. I really wanted to try um, Dan Tat, which is um, the egg tarts, um, and get a coffee as well, just a big coffee guy. So after that, went to a park to eat my stuff and decided to uh, start the photo walk there. <laughs> Actually, when I was walking up in this park, I saw these bleachers, but I just saw some locals um, going throughout their day, and I really thought that it'd be cool to do that throughout the entire shoot. So as we go throughout the review all the photos, um, that's kind of what I tried to do a little bit. I'm um, trying to capture locals in their everyday life. really surprised to see the British influence still in Hong Kong. Um, I mean, I knew it was a thing from history and stuff, but didn't expect to see these um, these red buses in Hong Kong. Especially kind of confusing since um, I went to London, I think last year. So to see the same red buses in Hong Kong was kind of, <laughs> kind of cool to see actually. I was actually really trying to get a shot like this with kind of the mountains in the back and a street view. I, re I always really enjoy that because it gives it a little bit more depth. Well, first the street is one layer and then the buildings in the back is another layer and then the mountains in the back is another layer. So a lot of layers which adds a lot of depth into the photo. But before there was a blue truck blocking that whole view so I kind of had to wait to get that shot. Initially the truck was moving really slow so I was like oh maybe i'm gonna get this shot it moved away eventually and kind of got it in the corner still um, a bit of color there
my hotel was in the financial district. So a lot of newer buildings mixed in with older buildings. That's why you see some of the really modern looking buildings right next to some of the older looking buildings. In this last photo, um, when you think of Hong Kong, you think neon signs. And so I tried to kind of get that. And this is the closest that I got to it. <laughs> this is like the only neon sign that I found um, in the financial district when I was walking around. But you can kind of see that the vibe totally changes. But yeah, I really kind of enjoyed taking photos um, in Hong Kong. I think it was really fun. I really noticed things that I probably wouldn't have if I was just visiting. Really noticed all the different things that the locals are doing just because I was trying to take photos of them. Honestly, didn't get too many pictures of local people. A lot of it's just architectures. And I think since I was in the financial district, um, a lot of people were just kind of walking around and commuting. Maybe have to go to some of the older parts for that. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed um, this Hong Kong street photography POV. Let me know if you want me to do other POVs. Maybe I'll do one in New York or whenever I travel somewhere else. But yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.